hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our php admin panel series so now guys in this video we are going to learn how to make a filter data from database okay so basically we are going to filter this inquiries according to this status also with the date okay so now guys let's get started so first let's move to this inquiries.php okay let me close everything and arrange it let's go to admin inquiries.php and we need to go to the database also let me close it okay so let's move to inquiries table and we have the created at which is the date and time so let's go to this structure and instead of date and time i just want the date to be accepted okay so let's add only the date format here just set that as date and get back browse okay so only date has come here and now guys let's get back to the editor and add that as a column created at and push it top let's copy and paste here created at so it will show the date also okay refresh perfect done so now guys uh, let us create a filter form here let's move go on the top and inside this card header start with the row column md5 and column md7 now you can take this h4 tag and paste inside this column md5 and and start with the form method it's going to be the get action is null right now and here again start with the row column md4 so input dot form hyphen control which is going to be the date format so same again column md4 add a select option so before that add a form bootstrap class select and here its status so let's add the option also which is going to be the pending completed and one cancelled okay so you need to add those values here so let us see what we have stored inside our inquiries table okay so we keep this direct values here so we need to tell here completed cancelled and pending and here let's tell select status and this is going to be the empty and now guys finally column md4 for a button and which will be like filter let's design this button so button type is submit use a class to design the button iphone primary and again a tag reset use a class to design this button hyphen danger and it goes to the enquiries.php let's move back copy this and paste that that's it let's save and now guys let's see the output for this refresh here perfect okay yep and now let us just select here and select with the completed click on filter so you see that the status only has come why because we have not given the name attribute here like date okay so just give the date and now you need to give the value also guys whatever it's there inside the parameter okay so php echo and close first we need to check whether it is set or not dollar underscore get method of date if it is set true question mark colon again null so here you will get the date whatever date you have pushed if it is given then show else show it null 
if you want to show null you can show null or else get the today date okay yep and now guys let us move below same condition for your select option paste here paste here paste here and now let us copy the status paste okay so now guys let us copy this and again paste here control d and here we are going to check if it is the same value copy and paste here then completed and cancelled okay if these are true then tell so let me type here selected as null and this should be inside one complete round bracket okay so now guys same goes with the below condition also so let me just copy this and paste after this so here we paste and add a round bracket in the beginning all done guys so let me just break it so it will be more clear to understand okay so this is the pending value and this is the option of close tag and this is the php open same goes with this also and then this you're cancelled perfect so now guys let us save and see the output refresh okay so right now it is selected as completed why because here you see that in the stated it's available so now if you give nine filter here you see that date and the status selected okay so if you give 16 and select status null done guys and now let us keep the things as required here in the select option keep required copy this and paste for this date also okay so both of them should be selectable like yes and you have to select something and now guys let's get back so let's move below on this query so here is our query guys and now let's write the if condition first where you will check with the is set function whether the date is set or not okay if the date is all set and also you should need to check and it's not equal to null okay so both condition and again use and operator and again check with the is set function dollar underscore get method of your status if it is set and also it should not be null okay dollar underscore get of status not equal to null as simple once this is done you are going to write the inquiry code so let me just copy this and paste here okay and this will be inside the else condition so this inquiry as simple guys and now let us write the code here select star from where inquiries table where date not date it's actually created at so if you see here it is created at let's click on structure copy the created column at and get the date so we need to validate the date guys first let's create a variable called date equal to dollar underscore get method and get the date so you need to use this in a validate function to validate the parameter and now you get the variable as date so let's get and paste here in a single quotes and also guys make sure the format is correct so here you see the format is it's year month and then the date okay so same way it should be here year month and date perfect so we have the same so it will not be issued to validate this so now guys use a and symbol and use a status equal to inside single quotes dollar status okay let's copy this variable paste here equal to use a validate function 
to validate the parameter value that is the status okay so once you get the status you paste there and now let's get back and refresh and check the output so here you refresh okay it says no record found okay but here our table is mismatched guys let us see with that data table so here we have three plus three six one seven columns let's move below and here you need to tell seven and seven let's save refresh okay this warning is nothing but the data table warning guys because it's not able to find the column so it is getting clashed so to solve this guys either you just need to paste this completely outside your table head okay so i can just show you here let's for each loop so here is a for each you just need to close php start php and then again same close php and start php once the for each ends okay and now from here you can just control x complete code and paste outside the table i have pasted it now so this is my table add the for each and now let's control x and once the table ends so let's push here okay so this is my table body and table end here and then a simple php code ending started and now guys you need to change all this condition so instead of dividing them and showing like this you can directly echo it okay so just use echo single quotes you open h5 tag and paste here copy and paste and let's control x and paste here again okay you can remove this code now let's save and you can see the output so let's move back and refresh okay no record found so now guys let us just check here so here is the seventh month eighth date so i'm going to select with the july and eight is the date i want to get the completed record filter here you get the completed record awesome so if you want the pending just see that pending status has come and it is cancelled means cancelled records are coming on that date so if you just change it to nine cancel there is no record found perfect guys so if you want to check like let me make the pending record as completed here so i have two completed records on date eight so let's go with the date 8 and the completed filter perfect so you see here guys that two records have been completed okay done guys so guys we have successfully done with the filter option in php so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share